Okay, so we want now to create the radial white lines around there. I've taken these dimensions, showing me I've got a seven meter radius. Open up the white line, save it as your sight line curve now, and then we'll click on the extrusion and edit it and redraw a new extrusion. There we go, offset that 50 mil, and then draw a line coming from down here. Just going to draw a quick line up here for about 1500. That's close enough. And then I can just use the trim command, tidy it all up. There's the extrusion. Then I want to array that extrusion and make sure it's radial and place your center of rotation. Okay, so I'm going back down to the center point where I measured my seven meters from. And then type in the angle. Now I want to cover a full spread of 90 degrees. Um, it might be safer to just edge it slightly under that. So I'll just put each one at 21 degrees or 22, say. Press enter. There we go. A little bit less than the 90 degrees. That's fine. I'm happy with that. So now I can load that into the project. OK, and then go to Massing in Site, Site Component, and we've got our site line curve. OK, and we can then position that and rotate it a little bit as we see fit. Now, the problem was there, um, I didn't have any height from the host. I'll just highlight that and I'll give it a bit of a height. Let's try 25 mil. Not quite enough. Let's try 50. There we go. And then let's rotate it slightly. And we'll bring it in a bit then. So it's just a bit of finer details with the positioning. And still needs a little bit of tweaking. It might be easier to draw a line by there to actually position it before you do this. Just to sort of make that a little bit easier. But there we go. And then, of course, we could just finish that off with a couple more standard lines by there. Take that around. I'll just drop a couple of those in there. So there's our white lines, some road markings. Um, let's have another little arrow. This one can go that way. Like that. Okay, so there's some um, white lines and arrows on our road.